Hey everyone, welcome back to Norris Cove. I'm Yoshida. So today we are doing Money Mondays, which I am considering of changing the name only because I just, not recently, but um, the past few months I realized that someone else, another popular budget YouTuber uses Money Mondays. Um, but nonetheless, we may just change it to something else, Financial Mondays. But right now I am in my half letter, which is my finance planner, budget planner, and it was going to be my catch-all, but I realized um, I use my everyday carry kind of for a catch-all. So we're going to talk about today um, digital envelopes. Um, if you don't know already, I have a financial bundle that is in my uh, website, well, on my website. You have a download version, and I also have a printed version. So this is the digital envelopes insert. So I kind of wanted to switch our Money Mondays up just a little bit and talk about digital envelopes instead of like cash envelopes. Digital envelopes is where you go and you use your bank accounts to transfer money. There are some people, if they have, let's say, uh, seven sinking funds. They may have seven different bank accounts where some people, they may have five different bank accounts. Some people just use maybe one account to pay, um, use their digital envelopes and they apply that money to that account and anything under their sinking funds may come out of their digital envelopes. Well, I have the um, insert here. Y'all excuse me. I feel like I'm just a ramble brain. I've, I'm working off for two hours of sleep. So please forgive me if I sound all over the place. But um, I wanted to show you guys the digital envelopes because even though my income is a little sketchy right now, I am self-employed with little to no work, really trying my best to be financially free, even though I'm on a low budget and it can be done. So I'm not giving up because I have a whole strategy um, of how I'm going to eventually um, be financially free. But even with little to no income, that does not mean that I need to spend every last time. I've got to be able to save and to not be back in this position again. So let's dig right on in. So this is the month of January. You can use a highlighter. I'm going to use my um, Tombow and this is in 761. So this is January. And then I had a cheat sheet over here. So, at once before I got my sinking funds written out, I have my cash envelopes written out. But I used to do cash envelopes, but now, especially with uh, quarantine, I started doing using my card more often, and that's how I decided to do the digital envelopes. So, we have grocery. We have gas. And being that we're kind of on lockdown... Um, and we're probably about to go back in lockdown. I don't use as much gas as I used to. And a tank of gas would last me almost two to three weeks now. But I still want that in my digital envelopes. And miscellaneous. And I do know that's about 75 to 100 a week. And then I'll just put the date here. And I'll explain this more. And then I have products. So, um... This can be for, I'm going to put hair, and then I'm going to put um, business supplies here. And I hope that I'm explaining this right or that you all understand what I'm trying to say. I would allot a certain amount of money out for these categories. Um, grocery, I was back to paying grocery before the um the pandemic and now my husband is back and whenever I can chip in, I do, but I don't have to put that much, but this is my new category. This is my new envelope, gas, miscellaneous products, um, business supplies. And then I need to add car because sometimes like, well, if I need a, my oil change tires, um, I got a oil change coming up probably in about another month or so and so I would fill in how much I'm gonna give to that a week and I would do mine weekly only because I get paid weekly I get paid daily being self-employed so it's best for me to do my bills weekly so I would give car about ten dollars a week 
I'm just going to leave it. And I'm just starting these envelopes. Um, my hair products, I can only do like 10. I'm only getting products probably once a month because I'm not working as much. Business supplies, I really need to put more to this. So I'm going to put 20. And even still, I've stopped buying a lot of kits. Um, not necessarily kits, but I've stopped purchasing a lot of artwork and I'm doing more functional items. So I'm saving a lot of money here. The only thing is I have to buy paper. But if paper lasts me, it depends, let's say a month by the time i put 20 in here um a week and this may be more so i'm gonna put um 40. this is just a guesstimate for now and i'm gonna see how it works with me and then i will update you guys on how my sinking um excuse me how my digital envelopes are going um miscellaneous because things come up like today i just had to go buy deodorant i have to get dog dog food that stuff is miscellaneous to me. I needed mascara. I hadn't bought mascara the whole pandemic. And I knew, I, as a professional, knew that I cannot wear mascara from six, seven months ago. So I needed mascara, stuff like that. So on a week basis, that's about $100. Um, gas, like I said, I'm spending about, gas has gone up, so I'd say 40 and I would probably have some left over because I'm spending about between 35 and 37, depending on which gas station I go to, depending on the gas prices. So each week, and I'm saying the gas is lasting me about every two to three weeks. So I would put $20. And then, like I said, with the grocery, I'm just gonna leave this blank right now because like I said, like my husband just went to the grocery store today. He he does a pretty good job grocery shopping. Like he caught meat on sale, so he, he bought it. Um, vegetables on sale so that's like enough for the week but um it just depends like if i want something particular i may go and buy it like i love crab meat <laughs> so when i catch that on sale i buy that but um right now i'm just going to leave it blank so again this is what would be in my cash envelopes at the moment i can always add to this and then here i can just total them up but being that it's so less um, I could do the shoes to do this every two weeks or every, um, once a month or every week. So right now, if it was doing on the week, it would be, let's see, that's 120, let's see, 160, 70, 180. It'd be $180 a week that I would be putting up into those cash envelopes. And those are only um, five categories. So again, I could do this like skip a week and this would be um, probably cost me less a week. So again, this is our digital envelopes and i'm gonna see if i can make sure that you um, can see so here we have the month you would highlight it you put the date in that you're adding the money to the envelope you would enter the name of the envelope or the item and then the amount the balance and then if it's plus or minus so if you have something left over you can put that here or you could just put a plus or you could put a minus um a way i would like to do it is add a green use a green um pen or marker to state if it's or red to state if it's a plus or a minus and then you can hit your total here at the bottom we're done that's what i wanted to show you guys today for money mondays um we'll get back on track of showing my budget and what i'm doing with my budget nowadays like i said it's kind of tough because um the income is just not steady so I'm trying to, that's one of my goals this year is to have steady income. So again, this is my digital envelopes. I'm going to fill my monthly budget um, off camera and we'll be discussing that next week. I'm just trying to stay a little consistent here on the channel. And I want you guys to go along with me on this journey to financial freedom. I asked on my Instagram, who needs an accountability partner? partner let's be accountability partners so we'll check in here every monday like today you guys like i said only had two hours of sleep that's why i apologize for stumbling over my words but i was like i got to do this i've got to you know hold myself accountable and i've got to show them what i'm doing to stay accountable for my finances so i'm tired but i'm going to edit this video and get it up so it will be on time for financial monday so i will see you here 
again next Monday. If you enjoyed today's video, please do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell. If you have any questions, please do me a favor, leave me a message in the comment section and I will be happy to answer any of those questions for you. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.